we're on the Yankee Fork of the Salmon River looking at a side channel habitat improvement project that was completed last fall in 2012. And we're observing adult steelhead returning from the ocean. And they're constructing their nests, which we call reds. And they're gonna lay their eggs in there and cover them over. And later on this summer, they're gonna hatch out as little babies as fry, and they're going to uh, rear in the stream for one to three years and then swim down to the ocean and do the whole thing over again. Yeah. That's a big fish. Uh, it, it shows exactly the, the idea of uh, a well thought out process that puts the habitat in that we know that fish like to build it and then the following spring to have adult steelhead come in and use it it's very satisfying, yeah. For all the partners, you know, all the partners were hoping to do this together. It's like the, the, next, the next generation of the effort where it didn't work in the past, it's working now. Yeah, well, the Yankee Fork of the Salmon River has had uh, a lot of impacts to it, from, mostly from dredge mining earlier, uh, 50 to uh, 60 years ago and it disrupted the fish habitat quite a bit. And uh, many of the partners, including the Shoshone Bannock tribes, have been trying to do some rehabilitation work in there for the past 25 years. And we finally got a significant project done uh, last fall to, um, to start that process. We we're hoping to do another uh, series of projects to improve habitat in there. So this first project that we just finished is exciting because it's the first step and the fish are already using it and we're expecting the future projects in the next five years to be even bigger and to be used even more by steelhead and Chinook salmon adults to spawn in.